Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Today, we are heading back into the action. Of course, last episode we went into the something cave. I think it was like the Angler's Cave. Yeah, Angler's Tunnel. Um, and we were able to get the swimming ability. That was cool, that was a, our fourth dungeon. But as you can see now, we're gonna be going down this way to Martha's Bay. Um, and just sort of figure things out along the way. Of course, I can see a couple of things we can swim to now that we can swim, which is awesome. Like this big fish cave right next to everything, obviously. We're sort of supposed to go here first. Oh, hello, big fishy. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Hi, Manbo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? Indeed I do. <laughs> then I can teach you my song. Bloop. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like it. Ma 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 bo. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, they're little flippers. They move it to the music. That was so good. Hooray! You learn Manbo's Mambo. When you get out of the water, play it. All right. When you play my Mambo, you can warp to a warp point around the island. Try this tune in the dungeons, too. And since today's a special day, I'll let you warp to Manbo's pond, too. Cha cha cha. All right. Do you have anything else to say? When you play Manbo, you can warp to a warp point around the island. Okay. What about you two? You guys got anything to say? I guess not. Is there any way to go farther down? No. Okay, well that was fantastic. Thank you so much for that, buddy. That was super worth going in here. So we'll, we'll, we'll be able to use it at some point or another. I do wanna swim around as much as I can, sort of take a look at the, the water, see if there's anything I can get to. Like, is there anything down this way? Whoa, 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 ho, ho, that's cool. Okay, so we're at Catalonic Castle. That is so interesting now. Oh gosh, whoa! There's, there's a ghost chasing me. Hello. Uh, I'm a little confused. Is he attacking me? I don't know, he doesn't look like he's trying to attack me. I gotta find my way out of the water. He looks so sad. Oh, there's a heart piece. How do I dive again? Oh, there we go. All right, so there we go. You, you, you got four pieces of heart. Your maximum health will go up. So is this our 11th heart? Very cool. But where do I go? Can't get up this way. Oh, I know on the way back. Yeah, on the other side of Canelot Castle's moat, there should be a way up. Is he still chasing me? He is. This is a weird little ghost we got going on here. I don't understand. The house, take me. The house at the bay. Oh, we're going to the bay anyways. All right. Looks like we have a mutual gain to achieve here. Uh, sure thing, buddy. I would love to bring him to the house at the bay. Maybe he'll help me get to the next, like, uh, thing. Let's also go into here. Can we, like, talk to him now? Is he still with me in this room? He is. Hey, buddy. No, I can't talk to him. Um, bring, bring, this is Orira. Now you're being haunted by a ghost? Well, how about taking him where he wants to go? Bye, click. All right, <laughs> thanks, Orira. Really helping me out a lot for that one. So yeah, uh, let's try to figure this out then. Uh, we need to go down this way, correct? I mean, I guess we could teleport down this way. I'm just trying to find what's the best way, because I might want to, can I zoom in? Where is there a house? Is that a sign or is that a house? I don't know. Trying to find a house a ghost, aha, would live in. Okay, you know what? Let's use this. There we go. I love those little water bubbles. Oh boy. That's cool, very cool. So yeah, we can teleport. Well, actually we can't teleport here. Why did you say that we could if we can't? That's weird. Or Monbo's pond is here, okay. So uh, I understand now, this is like his house, but this is his pond. Anyways, we're just gonna go right here to Martha's Bay. That is perfect, let's go! Hopefully he'll come with us. If not, this was maybe a mistake. Oh no, oh, my little ghost buddies. No, okay, here he is. <laughs> I got scared for a second. We're fine. Uh, so yeah, let's ah, get across to here if I can. <laughs> he went down there with me. He's cute, I'll give him that much. Here, enter my house. Will do. So we're, we're going right into here. And let's see what's going on. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, we were in here before. 
He looks like he's happy to be home, at least, maybe. It's all beat up, he hasn't been here for a while. Oh, he's looking at all of his old stuff, maybe even a picture. Nostalgia unchanged. Huh. Well, is there anything we can do to help fix up your house? I mean, I got a couple of spare rupees if you need that. This is like so sad, but so cute. Ooh, aww. Well, is there anywhere else he wanted to go? Enough, cemetery, take me my grave. Okay, so the, the cemetery. I think that actually going to Mambo's Pond will help with that. So let's use this real quick. And find out for ourselves. Uh, this is, well this is a Cuckoo Prairie. But no, 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 the, grave, the, yeah, the, the, the cemetery's right here. I thought it was this. Um, yeah, let's go to Mambo's Pond. All righty. You know, yeah, I've seen Mambo's Pond. There isn't too much here. It's just like a tiny little thing. But you know what? This is pretty cool to check out. And there you are. Hey, buddy. So yeah, there should be a way around here to the thing. Just gonna try to dodge all these guys in the meantime, run. And I think down this way is the right way we gotta go. Maybe? Well, uh, it leads there, so that's fine. So which one is his, is the question. Oh, you know what, there was like one big fancy one. Get rid of these guys. Where was the fancy one? I thought there was one. Um, I swear there was one that was like fancier than the others. Ah, okay. Let's go that way then. So it's the cemetery, but I guess he was very important. So he sort of was like estranged from the cemetery. All right. Well, no, I'm not going the right way. I gotta go this way, I think. Oh, I also got the acorn. Whoop, <laughs> there we go. Uh, my grave. I'm trying. Take me my grave with the flowers. Okay. Well, I wonder if I can dig here. This looks like a diggable spot. You bet it is. I've been trying to keep my eye out for these seashells because it looks like we gotta get a lot more. But there's another seashell for us. And let's bring it to your grave. I hope this makes you happy. I wonder what it says. Oh, look at that, that smile. Thank you. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye bye. Oh, really? So we get another jar. We haven't caught a single fairy with any of my jars. Uh, I'll have to do that at some point. Oh, bottle number two. You got a fairy bottle. It looks big enough to hold a fairy inside. Well, that was a nice little reward. Oh, oh boy, here we go. How you doing, owl buddy? Hoot, it has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward, hoot. Will do. See ya. All right, well that's cool. So far things have been going great in today's episode. I wish I could read this though. Unfortunately, you cannot. Um, so yeah, now the question is where do we wanna head off next? We need to get into the bay. I just don't exactly see the best way to get into it. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could just jump into the water, but you can see there's a lot of rocks in the way. If we could get to the to the mermaid statue, I don't think we've checked that out yet. I don't know if that's possible, but we could try. Okay, let's, let's start with that. The best way to get over there would be from Animal Village, so. I'll play this and we'll go to Animal Village. So I'm sort of, as I'm getting closer, I remember talking to this owl and I made it, he sort of alluded to the idea that there was something under this bridge. So I think that's what we're gonna try now because if we take a look at the water around here, I just, I mean, I know we can go back up this way, but that's sort of more of a shortcut because as you can see, there's rocks blocking like all of this off. Like maybe we can sneak around the side and I should just try that. But I'm at least just going to give everything a try. Oh, it's a mermaid. Hello, can I talk to you? When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I'll let you take a scale from my tail. I don't know why I need a scale from your tail, but I mean, hey, a trade is a trade. Um, Interesting, so 
I'll go down this way. Also, I do have that one, oh hey look, there's another heart piece down here. Okay, let me grab that. And that is gonna be one fourth of the next heart, so that's pretty cool. Can I take a look at the map? So now I'm down here. I went around the entire thing, sort of. So I have not seen that scale just yet, but everything's bubbling over here. This could be something. Ah, uh, ow. What is this about? Do I just pop up on the other side? Whoa, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. It's very pixelated in the background, that's weird. Um, huh. And then we're on the other side. And then we can just go in. I don't know if I'll, I'm ready for this. I, I thought there'd be more we could do. I mean, of course, there is more we can do. Huh, you know what, for right now, if we can get one, let's just do it. Let's just do it, have some fun. Maybe we could do some stuff after the temple as well. Uh, level five, Catfish is small. This is the fastest we've made it to a dungeon in an episode before. This is super cool. Uh, but yeah, we're in here. Got it, got it. Whoa, watch it. Ha. Oh no. These guys can be tough. He's gotta sneak behind him, just like that. I do see this. Oh, I really hope we're getting, I mean, I, I could probably charge and make that jump, so I don't know. But I really hope that we get the hook shot soon. I don't know if that's in this game, I really, really don't, but I feel it could be so helpful for a number of occasions that I would hope it is. Anyways, we're gonna run up this way. Ha, yeah. Okay, there we go, we got him. So I will try just to, uh, maybe if I jumped a little bit later. Nah, not quite, not quite. So I think that we need to get something for that. Don't know what that'll be, but we'll find out as we move along. For right now, of course, our goal is to find things like the map and the compass. Speaking of which, what do we have in here? The compass, perfect. So with that, we can find items, of course, in rooms, or at least know that there are items in the room we're in. Okay. Uh, these guys can be tough. Ooh, dropping some major money though. I say it's five rupees, but ow. Okay, can you? They always turn towards you in a way that's not very helpful sometimes. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll go down the stairs. Ooh. Oh geez, oh this is weird. I have to stand on this and then just time my jump. The jump's a little wonky, so it can be tough to do that. Okay, it's resetting, jump. Ah, but I like over jumped it. Go back over there, maybe I could just, there we go. Oh, I don't trust this. Uh, there it is, not too bad. It's, just, like I said, it's a little weird, you gotta get used to it. Whoa, um, definitely a chest to get inside of this one. These guys are red, which is new. Uh, can I charge into them like this? It didn't really work very well. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so what's the dealio with all of this? I'm guessing I need to make these blocks like a straight line, maybe? That didn't work. Um, weird. I thought that would do something. I don't know though, it's not saying there's anything more to get in this room. It's not saying there's a chest or anything, that's weird. And what's going on in this room? Good question. <laughs> um, I, I do not know. I'm trying to think about this. Uh, I don't have any magic powder, so that's not gonna help. It's saying that there's something to find in this room now. It might not be a chest, but it could be a key still. That's sort of the weird thing. Oh, maybe I pushed in the wrong, maybe they're supposed to make a square, not a line. Okay. There we go, and that will get me a key so that I can move on to the next room. That's good. Thank you. I don't have a map yet, so yeah, it's not gonna tell me how many floors I have to deal with. That's gonna be interesting. Um, right now, though, I can skip all of this pretty easily just because of the fact that I don't need to sit it up that way anymore. We will have to go back in that room at some point, which might be a bit of a pain, but we'll figure it out. Hmm. So, my goal right now is to get back to here and go inside. And what's going on inside of here? It looks like we got more of the skeletons. Nice. 
And it looks like the room leads up that way, but I wanna get rid of all these first. We broke over 180 rupees so far, so that's pretty cool. 809, nice. Ah. Oh boy. Oh, why doesn't he get hurt by them? That's not fair, that's cheating. That one went right through him. Ow. They're really tough to get. There we go. Does that work every time? No. Come on, back up. <laughs> He's tough to deal with. And I don't really have too much more to, except for like a bomb, but I probably shouldn't do this. Is just do that. I will get him. Yes, it will. Okay, I get a heart back for it. Ah, leave me alone. Oh, here we go. I don't even have <laughs> the bow yet. Maybe I, I did come into this a little unprepared. Ooh, you picked up an arrow. Too bad you don't have a, a bow to deliver the owl. Okay, or did it say a bee to deliver the owl? I don't know. Uh, huh, not exactly sure what I'm doing. Okay, that's ridiculous. I don't know. I was trying to like psych him out, but this is weird. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I sort of brute forced it. We have to be getting the hook shot in this level. You got a piece of power, that's good. Can't go through that door though. Uh, well this isn't right. Okay, I'm gonna get hurt a little bit again. But I made it, okay, we're good, we're good. Grab more arrows, I guess. If they're there, I'm gonna take them. Ow, come on. Leave me alone. Oh, get some free bombs, that would be good. Nice. Ow. I'm not playing so well right now, I gotta be honest. Nice. And ooh, that got us a chest. Oh, let's hope this chest has something good in it. I really need to figure things out here. Got it, I'm gonna run down this way and grab this rupee before it disappears. Oh boy. So what's inside of this thing? It is a stone beak. I haven't even seen one so far, so that's weird. A, uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I guess I could have gone up here. So that's my best bet. Ugh, I'm so bad with that. So yeah, I'm gonna ignore these guys as much as I can. Get up this way. And I guess this might be more worth our while if this guy doesn't throw his bones at me. There we go. Let's talk to you then, Mr. Owl, I see ya. If you can destroy a skeleton with your sword, or if you can't, try using a bomb. Okay, keep that in mind. Luckily, I don't have to do that. Usually, usually using the sword against him isn't too bad. Another one of these rooms. Am I? Because there was another room like this, but it had it on all four of the corners. Oh, you know what? These guys were in a link to the past. I get it. I'm supposed to knock him down like that. Yeah, and that's what he was alluding to. Not the skeletons in that room, but this skeleton. Come on. Oh. Let me be ready for him. Can I parry it? Not really. Ow. I'm trying to hit him. I don't think just hitting him with a bomb is gonna help. Jeez, that's tough. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oop. And, okay, that got him again. I don't know exactly, I guess I'm supposed to hit him when he's revving up his attack. That's the timing. There we go, we got him. And hopefully he'll drop a fairy. Ah, I can't beat you, I'm out of here. Did he not drop a fairy? Oh, come on, I really need one right now. Hey buddy, get out of here. And you, and you, what's inside of the chest? We get, I've got what's inside this box. Come and get it if you can, Master Skeleton. All right, I'll try my best. So it seems like there's more than one way to go again. Uh, oh, okay. Got some more of these cheap cheeps. I hope I can make these jumps. <laughs> Or they're gonna be beating me up in the water. Actually, there might have been, was that a ladder down? I don't think so, I don't think so. That would be a little weird. Uh, okay, uh, wrong thing. I'm not playing well at all today, I'm so sorry. It's my first time playing today. Are these torches? 
are not being very helpful at all. Come on. There we go. Grab the extra health, move it, move it. It looks like they're not attacking anymore because the enemies got taken out. That's at least good. Grab this. Ooh, there we go, some extra money. We're back up to three and a half hearts. That's at least something. Oh gosh, um, I don't have any powder for you. I really needed to do some stuff before we went into this, didn't I? Oh my gosh. All right, well I just might as well do what I can. Dive under where torchlight beams do cross. Dive under. Okay. Oh, come on, oh, come on, this wasn't fair. Okay, luckily I can jump over it, that's good. I can at least push this and go down this. Uh, is that something that'll attack me? I don't understand. That's a little weird. Or maybe if I do get the hook shot, I can hook shot up that way. Oh, that could be it. I really do think we're getting the hook shot in this one. There we go, got some more arrows. How many arrows do I have at this point? Does it even tell me? Maybe I don't actually collect them if I don't have them. Well, let's hope I can make my way out of here. Is this really gonna be a, no it's not. Okay, I was gonna say, I really don't want this to be a dead end. What about this way then? Oh, we're back around. Okay, hey, get off, get off, get off. Come on, get off of me, be gone. Huh, weren't we already in this room? No, I swear they didn't attack me like that last time. So the unfortunate thing is that I cannot go back. So I'm trying to figure out what do I do next. I guess the best thing I could do is, I don't know, I wish I could go back. I don't understand why I can't. I guess I'll have to go the long way around again and then go up this way instead. Maybe that would lead into where I'm supposed to go because that sort of stunk. It just was like, okay, this isn't actually where you're supposed to go. Go back to the beginning or whatever. I don't know, it's sort of weird. But we'll just run this way. I'm trying to avoid the enemies. I've already defeated them. I'd rather not have to re-defeat them. And, oh, or maybe that's what it is. We have to fight him several times, right? This has a one on it. The one where we saw all in four corners, that's the fourth time we have to fight him. Maybe that's it. Is it really gonna be that crazy? It really might be. You never know. Oh, some extra bombs there, that's good. So this is different. I can't go to the left, I'm mean, to the right, so I might as well go to the left. Ah! Ah, oh, oh, that was lucky. Try that again. I wanna grab my rupees and stuff. Ah, okay. I don't know if I need to destroy these things, but I will try. It's working. There we go. And then jump over that, thank you very much. So now we just gotta worry about these guys. Come on, whoa. Oh, maybe I can dive in the water here. So let's see if we can't dive into the water here. I can, ooh, where does this go? I have no clue, but this, okay, that didn't look like, there's like one room it can move to anyways, so like this doesn't lead anywhere, we still have some leads. Uh, but hey, got some uh, bloopers, that's what they're called. And there's a Goomba up there for some reason. I wanna get rid of him just out of curiosity. Okay, gave me an extra heart, that's something. Weird, isn't it? Um, anyways, going up here, Oh, but I can't get this. <laughs> I don't know how to do that thing. Oh, that stinks. All right, well, now I know that there's a good secret to get here. Just need to make sure we actually get it. That should be fine. Okay, so swim over this way. And what else is going on around here? Got you. Hmm. I don't know. So there's like another dead end. I guess I can go back up though. There, there's like a lot of things I'll have to do once I find out like what my item for this ow is, <laughs> you know? And that'll be much better. Ah, leave me alone, leave me alone. These spiky things are the worst right now. So I'm gonna push this, press this button that opens that door so I can go to that coming back. Get out of here. I said get, be gone. Okay, dude. 
And now I get the pizza power. Oh boy. Nice. I'm gonna throw a pot on him. It actually didn't stop him too much. You'd think that would throw him off a little bit, but I guess not. Huh. So I could go to the right. What can I find here? There we go, got rid of him without too much of a problem. Nothing over this way, unless I can like push this block, which I cannot. Okay, well I tried my best. We'll go back here. And there's some extra health I could really make the most of if I could actually get over there. Oh, now we're on this side of this thing, cool. Oh, but how do I do this? Can I just push this? I gotta be able to co yeah, push one of these. Okay. See, this is the third one. One, two, three. So there really are four times I have to fight him. That's crazy. But where's the second? That's sort of the big question now. Uh, what's inside of here? It's the map. So hopefully that'll sort of answer my question a bit more. There we go because if not, I'm really confused. As you can see, one, two, three. Uh, huh. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Where's the one, two? And this is the entrance. Maybe, I, I guess it has to be here. The question is, how do I get to this room? I do not know, because there's a lot of, different staircases. I, I don't really like that part of the, the map sequencing, how things work. It has to be this room though, has to be. So if we can find a way into here, things will be good. That's gonna be tricky. Well, actually thinking about it, it could be this room too. So hold on, I totally forgot about that room. That could be it. And if that's the case, we're really rolling because then I sort of know where everything I need to do is. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let him throw his thing. So going back down here now, all I need to do with the button pressed is to just go over there. That should be good. Aha, okay, it was this one, Never mind. I was wrong. Oh, but you found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that? Okay, so when he is, yeah, doing that, I need to, okay, I already had the bombs. I don't need to switch to them. Let's hope that explodes in time. It does. So let's try this again. There we go. So I've sort of gotten him down now. As soon as he swings to attack, just smack him back and throw him that bomb right away. And there's battle number two done. So we just need to go back to where we just were. Ah, oh, I can't beat you, I'm out of here. Still don't get anything for it. That's fine. See, so yeah, we are going back up here again. Ah, uh, ow. <laughs> this guy's more difficult than the boss fight, apparently. I'm just gonna charge my way through, at least for a little bit. How did that not, okay, there we go. See ya, you didn't drop anything for me, but that's okay. Ah, ooh. So right up this way, here he is again. I'm ready for you. You found me, you're a real pesky kid, you know that, you're just gonna keep repeating yourself. Hup. And then wrong button. Let's hope that still explodes in time. Yeah, well, we're fine, we're fine. So it's like a really long mini boss. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be like a for real boss. There has to be, you'd think. But I don't know, maybe it's different with this one. There we go, we got it. This is definitely the most unique uh, dungeon so far. So as far as I can tell, we only have to fight him one more time. I hope, <laughs> I really hope. Uh, so we can go down this way or that way, it doesn't matter too much because we're just going to be because I've already been down this. Well, there is all of this. Yeah, okay, I don't know how I didn't see this. Um, but we need to go way back. We, we went here, I think that was from this one. So we sort of know what we gotta do in that way. I just gotta, oh, you know what? I think that's where this can be useful. Ow, stop. Um, let me get out of here first, because this room's not very useful to do it in. But I think this will teleport us back to the beginning of a dungeon, because he did mention, yeah, we can use this in a dungeon. So let's try this out. Now that we're back at the beginning, I need to just go left, left, left. All right, dude, seriously? Oh my gosh, these guys are so rude. Ha, yeah. There we go, at least one of them dropped the rupee. Can I jump over you? 
Oh, that's what you do. You gotta jump over him. I'm being a dingus. That's sort of your best answer with that one. Got him, got him. So. I just wish it would look straight at me. There we go. <laughs> it sort of worked for a moment. So grab this heart, go into this room. Ow, that didn't work that time. Okay, you know what? I'm sick of you guys. <laughs> I thought it would work. There's too much garbage in the way. So we, all we have to do. Ah, come on. This is not easy the first time. It doesn't seem to be easy the second time. That's not too bad. Come on. There we go, perfect. So, ignore most of this if I can. Thank you. And, go into here. We got you, buddy. You better drop a fairy for me this time. I wanna be super upset if you don't. Ah, okay, you actually picked up your game a little bit more now. Uh, switch, place it down. I gotta be careful. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna try to jump then, right? Okay, maybe not always. I just have to be ready for whatever ridiculous move he might have in store for me. There we go, uh. Ah, yeah, I got him! Awesome! Oh boy, there it is, he drops it! I can't believe that, that's so cool! It is the hook shot. It changed, its chain stretches long when you use it. Isn't that cool? Alrighty, so if we switch over to it, right over this way. I wonder if we can still use it as a weapon. Oh, we can at least stun people with it, which is good. Um, so let's, ah, stun you. I can also grab items from a distance, which is always nice. But he didn't drop a fairy, which is what I was really hoping for. Luckily, these things are pretty generous when it comes to health right now. Uh, so we're at one, two, three, four, five and a half hearts. Okay. So, yeah, let's get over here as much as I can. And just get out of here. So, there's lots to do now. First, we'll go back and get this chest. I think that'll be the easiest thing to do. Okay, dudes, these are like my least favorite enemy now. Come on. Got him. Over here. And you, come on, you. There we go. Sometimes you just don't pay attention and that's when it's easy to take them out. So in this room, hook shot, thank you. That's all I needed to do. It's wonderful. And we get a hundred rupees for that one. We're up to 956, we're about to hit the maximum. That's crazy. Okay, so going over this way. Um, ow. These guys are the worst, trying to get rid of them. They're wasting all my health. Give me some health back, please. I now need to find out where we wanna go next. Oh, come on, dude. Dude, I'm trying to jump over you. Stop! <laughs> I am just, I'm done with you. I don't wanna deal with you anymore. Um, We could go over this way. Actually, I, yeah, I wanna go to the left over here. Best way to do that, I gotta go up and to the left. Gotcha. Just like, oh my gosh, it's tough. I'm also not very good, of course, which isn't helping. But on its own, it's pretty tough. There's 10 more arrows. Hopefully I'll actually need them at some point. But then we can just go across, which is cool. Grab the pizza power. And, whoa, come on. I already have the map and everything, so I can only imagine this will be like goodies and stuff. Dude, be gone. All right, come on. You go over this, oh, you're supposed to keep walking. So tired of these guys, because they just move in this weird sporadic way that's hard to keep up with. We get a small key. There we go. I'm gonna get that. Dude. And they always just turn around at the perfect time. There we go, see, I can't even get that. Actually, maybe I could've. Ah, too late. There we go. Actually, that helps, sort of. Whoa, I can take the little helmet. Oh, that's perfect. Now I know I don't need to worry about him. You know, while I'll be here though, I should probably do this again. Gotcha. <sighs> Running over here. And grabbing it, thank you. So where do we wanna go next? I could go up and use that key and then use that to go downstairs, but I can't. I mean, I can, I just gotta do it a different way. Not. 
Okay. I thought that would maybe like break the pot. But I can do that. And. Oh no, I shouldn't have picked that up. I didn't mean to. I was going to use it in a bottle, but I didn't expect that there. I don't think I've been to this part of this room. Okay, get these guys off of me. And open this up. I don't want to go down there. Because that'll just lead me back. Okay, so maybe I have been? I don't know. What in the world are these things? Are this is this a different mini boss? It is. There's like three bosses technically in this thing. Ow. Oh, I see. Come on, get him, get him. So when I'm under. Is this what the owl was alluding to? Ah, okay, so they're gonna keep their eyes closed, but they do sort of open them a little bit to attack. Ow, got him. If I can get rid of one, then it'll be much easier to get rid of the other. Ow, probably shouldn't have been in the way of the attack. These guys are super creepy, by the way. There we go. Much easier to dodge this guy, because I have more room. Ready. Oh. Ah, wait, wait, he's charging, he's charging. I don't like these guys at all. Come on. There we go, there we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh man, he has to be done soon. He's gonna charge. Ah, <laughs> it's creepy. All right, go, yeah. And then hit him. That's it, he's done for. See ya, buddy. Okay, so I wanna pull up the bottle to get that, but there we go, our mini boss is defeated, that's cool. Yeah, I gotcha! How cool is that? You caught a fairy in a bottle, set it free anytime you wanna get healed. So hopefully if I get taken out, it'll actually just do that. So there we go, mini, do mini boss defeated, which is cool. And I can get rid of that stuff, get some extra health. And we'll see where the staircase leads. Um, oh, yeah, now I remember. So yeah, we could do that. <laughs> That's cool. I dropped some good rewards. And then you, I will stun. You still have a smile on your face, though. Goombas are so happy in this game, I love it. So now we're back here, for better or for worse. I don't even have a key for this one. Oh, uh, well then there's nothing I can do here. I need to leave <laughs> and find a different way around, I guess. So now I'm back this way. I don't quite remember where this one leads. That's why I have to sort of find out. It'd be really nice if the game told you, but I guess what I should do is actually start marking them. So I know where the entrance and the exits are because these dungeons are getting really complicated. So whenever I find out where this one exits, that'll make it a whole lot ah easier for me. I guess I landed on them, oh cool. Hmm. So where am I now? I'm right here, so I'm gonna mark this one with the spade as well. Or is that a club? There's a spade and then there's a club. I think, yeah, that's the Yeah, I think this is the spade. Um, anyways. Tangent aside. Ah. Uh, God, I dodged that. I don't know how I did all that. That was cool. Ow, now I get hit. Great. Well, I got my health back. We're at full health. We're doing pretty good with some of this stuff. Uh, hey, watch it. Yeah. Come on. Uh, perfect. Did I ever read this? I had to have, yeah. So going to the right is just gonna lead me back to where I was. So it's at least good to know. Without a key, I can't do anything there. I also don't have the big key to unlock the boss door, which that leads to, so it's really not even worth it to go to this place. Uh, but I need to know what that led to. So now my goal is to either go down this way, because I know this leads to something. Um, gonna put a diamond there for now. And yeah, we'll go figure that out. So we're gonna go this way, and then I'll get hit by that thing because that's just not fair. Uh, that was lucky. And then just avoid these guys, dive under the water, and we'll, we'll start trying to figure this out too. So, bloopers out of my way. I got places to be, I'm sure you do too. There we go. Come on, up here, up here. <laughs> I'm sort of getting stuck on the corner. And what's going on with this one? Ah, yes, okay, so, now I know. Pull that across, that's such a cool little idea. I love that. And what do we got inside? It is the big key. All right, the nightmare key in this game. So that's great. So we're gonna go back, then I'm gonna go around and get all of these chests, but then we're good. I think we've gotten literally everything else, so that's really crazy. So back over this way. Don't have to worry about too much of this. I just need to swim. 
Swim, swim, swim. Gotcha. And we've made it. Ow, okay, that was, that's not what I wanted to do. That, that just, for the record, that's not what I wanted to do. Hopefully they don't attack me this time. Okay, I got lucky, really lucky. Ah, but these guys, they never want me to be lucky. Oop. So I don't have to worry about going to the right because to the right was just a boss fight. Ah, I'm never prepared for that. So I guess, yeah, the idea is just to get over this way, get this chest. That is a purple rupee. I don't even have enough space for this stuff. That's crazy. Actually, no, it goes over a thousand. I don't know if you saw that, but I was over a thousand rupees. That's crazy cool. And inside of this one, another 50. Okay. I'm so glad it goes over a thousand. And then over this way, what do we got? Hopefully something good. It is the key that we need to actually get to that one spot. So that's all perfect. Now we are good to go back through here, over this way. I, I actually, I guess we could just go, because I now know that this leads to that. Has to, right? Yeah, because this over here leads to this. Now I just know for reference, I need to go back around. Actually, I can teleport back to the beginning, go through this portal, go here, go there, go there, and then I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's awesome. Nice stuff. We've got it figured out. Really cool. Warp to the entrance. This has definitely been a very interesting dungeon with three boss fights sort of kind of, if we include this, you know, the skeleton guy and the mini boss and then who we're about to go fight. That's like cool. And it's all like really like one big floor, which is a bit different. Usually they have multiple floors going on, but not this time. Okay. So I'm still going the right way, you bet I am. Yeah, just keep charging past these guys if I can. Then I gotta switch to the hook shot. Get up here. And we're good. So I can use my one key to open this up. And I guess get into this corner. Nice. Anything of interest over this way? Not looking like it. So we are good to go. We even have a fairy in a bottle ready for us if we end up meeting our demise in this boss. Who is it gonna be? So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the windfish. <laughs> I shall eat you. Please don't eat me. Uh, oh man, this thing is weird. It's like, uh, I think this might just be the guy's tail. Uh oh. Whoa, I don't like him. I don't like him, he's the slime eel. What do I do? Ah, I gotta run. Do I slice his face? I gotta be able to hook shot him when his mouth is open. Is that the answer? Oh, oh, okay, I got his little pink bubble. Come on, ready? Nice, okay, that, was, that wasn't too bad, actually. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, not gonna be able to get him. Ow, just trying to be prepared for wherever he shows up. Oh, this time, okay, this turned out differently than last time. Uh, I can't hit him right now. Ah, he exploded! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, so maybe he has more than one friend in there. No, 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 what? That didn't work. I guess because I got hit. That's sort of lame. Oh, he can actually come in from over this way too. I didn't notice that. Okay, got him, ready, boom. Hit him as many times as I can. That was like three times there. Not the most, but ah, I'm gonna have to wait for him to be in a better position. Ah, he's over there still. Gonna take a pass. Ah, looks like he just wants to be on the right side right now. No, he's just messing with me. Come on, dude. Uh, yeah, you can't do it unless his mouth is open. It's so tough. I, I'm trying, I really am. Ow. Okay, here's my maybe chance. I just have to wait around on one side until he shows up because you can't run over that quickly. I mean, I was obviously, uh, easier said than done with that darn things in the way. This is really, really tough. Got him, okay, ready? Go for him, go for him, go for him. Ah, uh, not quite enough though. That's tough. Okay, this time it's this. He has so many tricks, so many tricks. Don't explode on me. Thank you, I have one heart left before I hopefully use my fairy. I don't know how that works, but I'm pretty sure. 
be weird and, ah, oh, got me. Come on, fairy, heal me. Yeah, there it goes. Thank you. Do I get a full health refill? Yes, I do actually. I wasn't expecting that. Oh boy. Oh boy, no! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. So I have to pay attention. If it has a little pink ball behind him, that means that he's actually the one we're trying to get. So like, if I get this guy, actually, maybe not, never mind. Ow. Oh, did we get him? Tsk, tsk, you don't seem to know what kind of island this is. Hee 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 what a fool. <laughs> we'll see you, buddy. I don't know what kind of island this is, but I know it's one where you aren't on it. See ya. And look at that, we get a heart piece for our troubles. We are up to 12 hearts now. You got a heart container, which of course increases our maximum number of hearts. That was tough. Definitely not easy, but we do get one of these things I forgot the name of. Oh, these are like some of my favorite instruments. So it's a mar 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 marimba, I don't ever know how to pronounce it. You got the wind marimba. That's cool. Oh, I love it. That's like one of my favorite sounds for an instrument. Super duper cool. And that is the fifth dungeon in the game completed, Trine. Okay. There's a shrine we gotta get, the island's secret shrine. Is that like the last dungeon? No way. That'd be crazy quick. We'd have to wait and see. But anyways, we're back at Martha's Bay. There's still like a couple things I could try to do to complete off today's episode. I know we sort of, like I said before, went straight into the dungeon. Um, there's like a, at least one or two things I would like to try to do. First off, I want to go to the animal village. I know there was somebody who needed the like thing that we got from Papal. So I wanna give it to him. See what they say about that. Hopefully it makes them happy. And we'll work from there. I'm pretty sure it was somebody around here. Uh, I think it was the artist, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, because if not, it was somebody else. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, I guess not. I mean, I know there's something to do with the mermaid. We need to go and do something with that. But what about this? Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus. Yeah, it was you, it was Christine. How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have to request to make of you. Will you listen? Yeah, sure. I would like you to take this letter to a Mr. Wright. Oh, who lives in the on the border of the mysterious forest, please? Sure. You traded a hibiscus for a goat's letter. Great, <laughs> that's cute. You know, sometimes I can't help eating a delicious piece of paper, even if it is a letter to my darling Mr. Wright. Oh, she's blushing. How embarrassing. That's so cute. I guess they're like little pen pals. I like it. So we are going to, I guess, try that. We traded the hibiscus for that letter. At some point, we're supposed to get a scale from the mermaid. I guess, what's my best way over there? It probably is actually to go over this way. So we'll do that. Actually, while we're going through the town, I might wanna check up on things and sort of see how everybody's doing. If I can um, get a couple things done, that'd be fantastic. Like if there's more of the trendy game to play, that would be fun. I would love to do that. Uh, so over this way. Let's see, if, oh, I can buy the bow and arrow now. That's exciting. See, so yeah, let's grab this. Hello, sir. Bow and arrow set only 980 rupees. Yep, I got it. Thanks a lot, didn't come again. Well, would you look at that? I got the bow and arrow. So, I could put that there. Oh, that's so cool. No, oh, no, I didn't mean to hit you, Mr. Doggy. You were out of my peripheral vision. I promise it wasn't intentional. Okay, so let's try the trendy game as well. I'm so glad we were able to get that though. That'll make a lot of things easier, I'm sure. Oh, there is a seashell. We might as well try to grab that. The more the merrier, right? Trendy game, one play equals 10 rupees. Okay. <sighs> this can be tough. I don't have too many rupees right now either, do I? Oh, that's probably not gonna end up working out. My timing was very much so off. But it did push the seashell around, better for better or for worse. <laughs> I feel like it'll be easier to pick up on its side. I would like to play again. I have 80 rupees, so that really isn't much. Come on, uh, I don't know about this one. Come on, oh, yikes. 
it definitely is not easy timing it. Okay, yes, challenge again. I don't know if that was maybe even a little bit more off. I don't know though, it could be good, it could be good. Oh, not bad. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, really? I've been cheated. That's it, it's right back where it started. He knows it too. He's chuckling to himself back there. Ah, that's the worst, isn't it? Oh no. Oh, come on, give it to me. Just don't fall out. Yes, yes, second time's the charm, I guess. I don't know why that one was better. I thought like that was one that like didn't have as good of a grip to it. Should I play again? You know what, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I might be able to make some of my money back if I mess this one up, though. I'm gonna leave it be. I am getting better at it. I wanna get that purple. If I can get the, the red, I can get the purple, you know? Ooh. The problem is the purple has like lots of time to fall out and jiggle around, and I don't remember how much the red rupee is, but the purple is 50. Challenge again, yes. Ah, a little off. I was overthinking it. I could feel that I was overthinking it. And I still did it. Oh, ooh, it actually worked out pretty well still. It's right in the center. Oh man, stay in there, purple rupee. That's it, okay, we might have made a profit from this. Cause what did we have? We had like a 90, maybe 100 rupees. We'll see how much we have now. I don't need any of this other stuff. It just isn't worth it. Uh, so yeah, let's try this out now. Uh, I have, what is this, 10 rupees? 20, so that was worth it. And 50, so I made 70 back. So I have a total of 100, so I at least broke even, but I think I made like a 10 rupee profit. <laughs> and I get a secret sea seashell, so pretty good. I'm happy with it. And I guess with all of that, like I said, we will just try to go and bring this letter to Mr. Wright. We'll probably finish it off with that. That was This has been a lot of fun. Going up this way, excuse me, bow wow. It's nice seeing you again. All right, going for this one. Whoa, we can really move through this pretty quickly though. I like that. Hey, watch it. Because I don't think I actually have to go through any caves to get to where I'm going. Oh, blue rupee, that's good. That gives me five. And grabbing that one, that's good. And Mr. Wright should just live right up this way. <laughs> get it? Anyways. So here he is, hey buddy. So they both have little birds, that's so cute. What's this, a letter from me? I'm so happy. And look, the letter came with a photograph of Princess Peach and a goat hoof. What? Uh, hmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. I thought they liked each other. Maybe they both like Princess Peach. Hmm, what it looks like, all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Sure. Uh, you got a broom as your reward for Mr. Wright. But that photo was not of... Yeah, I know, right? I'm so confused. <laughs> all right, well, it was a cool picture of Princess Peach. I don't know, maybe she's just... I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Anyways, that was a lot of fun. Definitely next episode, we'll be going to the next dungeon along with it, we'll explore more of Koholan Island. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Before you go, be sure to comment Hookshot Zebra so you watch at the end of the URA Zebra Task viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.